In just a few short weeks, Pepperdine women's soccer field is finally going to be at regulation size as four of the eight lanes of this track are going to be torn out. We are here tonight with the men's volleyball team, number five Pepperdine, taking on the visiting BYU Cougars, number one out of Provo, Utah. I'm Jen Carson alongside Jen Carson sitting along Ryan Oliver and Skylar Davenport. LMU Lions taking on the Pepperdine Waves, 19.1 miles of sheer rivalry here tonight. We've got a big game for you. However, here in Malibu, gas prices continue to skyrocket as the average is 10 cents higher than that of LA County and 15 cents higher than that of the state. It's been a rough season, but let's let's look at the next game. Let's not focus on the last loss. Let's learn from it. Let's go back to the film. Let's go back to the drawing board. Let's figure out what we're doing wrong. And again, no mercy to this BYU team as they barely hang on for that one. Pluger with the dig. West backs it over to Torres. Torres getting up the fingertips of a Cougar. And it's good for the first point of this set. Well, Pepperdine came out hard. They definitely played to their strengths, uh, as Nick stated earlier. Big game for both these teams, especially before heading in to the WCC basketball tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada. Messing slams it down. And it looks like Pepperdine is starting to find their groove. Pepperdine definitely looking to change that here tonight. We also have to note that although BYU does have a, a great record right now, they also have had 10 straight home games. When someone's hand isn't in your face and you get to shoot, it's like, it makes a difference. Pepperdine takes this. The match will be over. BYU takes it, and we will go to a fifth set. Taylor getting down. Ryan, big time kill by Ryan. Definitely going to look out for Victoria Adelhelm. She's a senior. She's been out there for the last four years leading the waves on offense and on defense. She's a huge threat. Quinny Williams definitely, when she gets hot, she's able to hit those threes. Confidence goes up and she just has that feel for it. If you keep feeding her the ball, she's she's pretty consistent. She's sorry, doing a really good job at sticking on Ramirez. If you haven't been able to notice, she's completely taking off Ramirez's left hand because it does seem as though uh, Ramirez does favor going to that left side. She's really forcing her to to use that offhand, and Ramirez definitely crippled by it here in the second half. If they could knock off this number 13 ranked BYU Cougar team tonight, they could jump back up into that 25 ranking. This Lions team is 0 in 10 on the road, although they aren't far from home, just 19 miles away. That's it seems like we're seeing a couple of those tonight where the Dons are just getting over the Waves blockers and they're getting a tip on it and it's really throwing off the rest of the play because the other players in the back are really having to scramble. Setting it over, not over the block though. Kyle Guerin says no, they'll try again. And Torres slams it down. The play goes over the far side, big time for and it's a good Welcome back to Firestone Fieldhouse here in beautiful Malibu, California. Jen Carson sitting along, Ryan Oliver, Skylar Davenport. Exciting first half so far. We've got a rivalry. So Pepperdine definitely able to climb their way to the top. Also noteworthy of Pepperdine. The last time that they beat a number one team was BYU back in 2007, and they swept them. I think this is a perfect matchup for Pepperdine. Although you're playing a, a really impressive BYU, they do have two losses in WCC play. Not exactly what the Waves wanted for that one, and we are knotted up again at 19, as this is a cat and mouse type performance. Here. Head coach Chris McGowan, no other choice but to take a timeout. We've got a small gym, but it is packed here tonight. <laughs> Wool over, over to Sam Cash. And that is another kill for Samantha Cash. Pepperdine definitely hungry for a win here tonight. And doing a great job of getting that back row kill, getting some good power behind it and just putting it where the Broncos can't exactly handle it. BYU might have you know, a tall team. We got some 6'2", we got the 6'3", Hampson. But Pepperdine doesn't fall too short either. Head into Gonzaga's home court where they're in the top 10. Not in the WCC, they're top 10 in the country. That's gonna be a hard one. And those fans are unmerciful. Nice dig there by Pluger. Goes over to West, far side. Torres, pulling it down. Hit it so hard that it bounced 
looks up and the <laughs> Cougar's face kind of knocked him again as if he didn't already know he had got scored on. Yeah. If they let Pepperdine in at all, it's, it's definitely possible for them to gain some sort of momentum and easily snatch this first set away from them. Heck of a serve by Torres, looking to respond BYU, scrambling, just can't get there, Porter Luke goes to the waves. Now this guy always trains. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was at the beach every day during summer, working on volleyball, trying to get faster, trying to get quicker, trying to get stronger. And it's definitely paid off this season for him as he's become a starter. Racich doing a great job at getting her arm behind it. And now back at the service line, someone who the opposing team does not want serving the ball. Pepperdine doing a really good job at penetrating the paint right now. I'm Jen Carson here with Monica Case. Join us next time. Checking out from the Firestone Fieldhouse, Roll Waves. For News Waves 32, I'm Jen Carson.